Hello everyone, I have another traveler's notebook insert that I made that would be going into my Etsy shop. And this one, I love how it turned out. I think this is my favorite one out of the five that I recently made. It's a food theme and it can be used as a recipe book to collect recipes. You can use it as your food prep or um, planning your meals. If you're into healthy eating, it can be a food journal. It's just anything you want to use it for. But before I get into this, I just want to take a few minutes to explain to those that may not know what a traveler's notebook is. It's some sort of cover that comes in different sizes, materials, and um, themes. This is a standard size Midori type uh, traveler's notebook. This one's by Webster Pages and on the inside it has these bands that all you do is you take your notebook, this is a store-bought one, you find the center of your notebook and you just slide it through the bands. So like this one that is uh, homemade, the same thing, you would just find the center, slip it in, And then most of them have some type of elastic enclosure. So that is what a traveler's notebook is for. This particular one with four bands can hold up to eight notebooks. All right, so let's get to the inside of this. Um, this is wrapping paper that I found at Michael's and I decoupaged it to um, some black cardstock. This is a die cut of a stove that I made a pocket out of. And I just have a little mason jar tucked in there. On the inside cover is a pocket with a recipe card that I'm going to write my, res my favorite recipe on and a recipe from a cookbook. This card that matches the cover of the book that you can write inside. If you're giving it as a gift, you can write it as a, a little note on the inside. This is um, a coffee sleeve that I made a pocket out of. And then this is a cool page. I made a shaker pocket card. A pocket with um, some note paper to write on. The paper um, is tea stained. A recipe. Another little pocket. This is a recipe page. It folds out. You can write a recipe on it. Some stickers throughout the book. A little tuck spot. There's another tuck spot. And then this is a page from a magazine called Daphne's Dyer, Diary. I got this idea from Amity Bloom. Um, I attached a piece of tea stain paper to it and I made a pocket and I put washi tape on the edge to reinforce the, the page. And here is the center of the notebook. This side of the pocket I put some recipe cards. This little tuck spot up here. And then this page came from an old book about Italian food and it's a recipe for caramelized onions and then I thought this was a pretty cool photo it's a picture of an Italian wedding and all the good food and then I just stuck some um, more notebook paper in here for recipes and grocery lists an embellished paper clip 
another fold out. Tuck spot. This is the rest of the recipe that's in the front of the book. There's a little pocket. This is a pocket with some note paper and another recipe from that Italian book at, uh, for minestrone, the vegetable soup. And a little tuck spot, and then this is a tag on the back that has a quote that says, hand over the wine and no one gets hurt. I love that. And then the back of the book. So like I said, I think this is my favorite one that I made so far. But anyways. All right, so let me, I'm just going to show you briefly my traveler's notebook that I use. This is a fabric one that I got off of somebody. And then I just added my little charm. So this one only has two strings, so... It holds four notebooks, but this is a clear pouch that I got off of uh, Amazon that just I just have stickers and stuff in it. And then this is my daily notebook. This is the other part of that um, pouch. These inserts I got from Michaels. This one is um, just like to-do list and appointments and things like that. This is just something I made out of um, some photo uh, sleeves that I just stuck together with washi tape and stuck it around a rubber band. This is my budget book. And then this is just a regular notebook. And then this is my travel insert that I made for myself. It was my very first one that I made. And I use this to keep all my creative ideas in it. Any inspiration I get from other crafters on YouTube or my uh, Facebook groups, I make a sample of it and I stick it inside this book and uh, so I remember to use it. So I just use it for uh, planning out you know, cards, you know, I make Christmas cards every year. This is notes that I am making for cards I'm making for this year. And just like different, you know, like I said, different things I see on YouTube. Like this is a pocket made from a book page. So anyways, it doesn't really fit into this current uh, traveler's notebook that I'm using. So I just kind of keep it in there. And then it still stays nice and contained in my notebook. And then I made myself a pen loop. So that's my current one I'm using. I also have this one that I use. And this one is a little bit bigger than this because this one can hold up to eight books because it has four bands. And this one I bought off of an Etsy shop called Shadow Valley Boutique. If anyone is interested, she does really good work. Her sewing is nice and neat. And then I got it monogrammed with my initials. So I switch back and forth between this one, this one, and this one. There's just so many pretty traveler's notebooks out there. My next one is going to be, I think, a smaller version. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.